In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a configuration job from the inbuilt templates. Let's begin. To get to the configuration jobs, we'll use the Options menu, navigate to the Networks section, and under Networks, locate Configuration Jobs. We have a couple of nodes here, one to list any maintenance jobs that may exist that could be scheduled on a recurring basis. The other is a list of the built-in templates that can be used to create new jobs. In a moment, we'll create one to configure the syslog server on an ADC instance. You'll note the tabs across the top here where we have built-in templates for SDX configurations as well as SD-WAN configurations. To create our new configuration job, we'll navigate to the top node here, Configuration Jobs, and click the Create Job button. There, we will create the job by specifying a job name and specifying the instance type will allow us to then choose from the pre-built templates. We are going to use the ADC instance and we will choose from the inbuilt templates and lo and behold there is our template. By dragging it across we can see the commands that will be executed as part of this process. Note that there are some variables to be filled in, the server IP addresses, the port number, and the like. And we'll fill those in on the next page. Clicking Next, we'll actually add the instances first. Click the Add Instances and we'll select the instance, click the OK button, and then specify the variables. And we will use a common variable for all instances. In this case, we want to redirect the syslog traffic to back to the ADM. So I'll put in the ADM's IP address and the syslog server port and we'll keep it at the default of 514. We'll click the next button and we see the preview of the command based on the parameters that we filled in. The commands have been generated. Click next and we get the options here for the execution of it. In the event that any one of the commands fail, we can either stop further execution, we can roll back the successful commands to restore to the beginning of this transaction, or we could just plow ahead and continue. We can then also choose whether to execute it immediately or later and specify a frequency. And this will add it to the list of maintenance jobs. So we'll go ahead and choose daily, and I will choose 9 o'clock in the morning. We can have these jobs execute in parallel or execute in sequence and then demand uh, determine whether uh, credentials are needed. And finally, how will uh, the results of this be reported? When I click the Finish button, the job has now been created and I can monitor for it here. If need be, I can make modifications to the job by selecting it and click the Edit button and navigate over to the variables and modify the variables if need be. I can also check the execution history of the job, which since I just created it and scheduled it for a little bit later, it hasn't yet to execute. I can also stop a job in progress. I can execute it again if it had executed, or I can delete it and remove it from the list entirely. In this video, we've demonstrated how to use templates to create a configuration job.